In today's video, I'm going to be showing you five of the best base locations in the Grounded 1.2 update. Now, it's worth noting that these aren't in any particular order. This is just the order that I put them in. And uh, we're going to go through them all. I'm going to show you the pros and cons of each location. And uh, the main thing that this takes into account with 1.2 is the new Wasp Raids. Because uh, those guys suck and they break everything. So I'll give you at least one or two locations where you hopefully won't have to worry about the wasps. Thank God. Okay, so the first location we have here for a base is on the oak tree. Now, as you can see, this is where I've built my base in my uh, main survival world. Although right now, I'm in a custom copy of the world. Uh, this is kind of what it looks like. It's basically wrapped around the tree. I have two points of connection here. One is a point of connection with the root of the tree. And the other point of connection over here is connected to this lamp. Now, this is a really important point of connection because you want to connect it to something that can't be destroyed. Um, so if you get raided by any ground creature, they won't be able to destroy this connection point uh, for obvious reasons. It's, it's connected to a leaf. Nothing can get up here from the ground, which means if you get raided by any ground creatures, this will always be safe which means your base cannot be destroyed by destroying that single platform down there. The base can also be held up by attaching it to some of the mushrooms that are on the side of the tree, like right there. There's a few mushrooms you can see. If you put a wall into one of those mushrooms, then you uh, this will actually connect and um, provide support for the, uh, for the whole base. So that's another important thing to note. The pros of making a base here are that you always live nearby acorns, which is amazing because you always are going to need acorns for a lot of stuff in the game. You also have weed stems nearby, you have grass nearby, you have burrs, you've got mushrooms, you've got, um, you know, you've got this puncho if you need juice to drink, you've got flower petals, which you can only get in this part of the map as well. You also, if you go up here, as you'll be able to see, you have this uh, tree trunk here, which you can actually place sap collectors on. So you can place as many sap collectors as you want on the tree trunk, which basically means you have infinite sap as well. Uh, when it comes to um, raids, as I said, none of the ground creatures will be a problem. Sometimes they'll attack that ramp that I have on the way up. Sometimes they don't even make it that far, but they never manage to get up to the base, obviously, because it's so high up. Uh, in terms of a bounce tower, I do have a uh, bounce web tower up to the zip lines here. The only issue with this zip line tower is you do have to build out a bit if you want to go to this side of the yard, uh, or you just build around the tree trunk and set up a bunch of zip lines. I don't really have that many zip lines on my map, to be honest. In terms of the drawbacks of living here, um, the main one is, of course, the wolf spiders. If you've plugged the haze in particular, there are wolf spiders and the infected wolf spider inside of the tree which you're gonna have to worry about um you can do have a couple of options here you can just block up inside the tree with a bunch of clay and stuff and then you don't have to worry about it um that's the main solution that i would go for if you're trying to avoid the wolf spiders and the infected wolf spider is to block it with clay um another thing worth noting is you do of course have a uh, burgle nearby uh, I feel like that's a bit of an obvious one, but, you know, if you ever need to give him chips or claim quests or need a safe place to rest, Burgle has always got your back. That lab also has a water um, container inside of it, which has infinite water for you. So you never have to worry about running out of water if you're going in there. Overall, I think this is a solid base location. It's very central on the map, meaning you can get anywhere on the map pretty quickly. Although the main disadvantages are there are a few resources that aren't really that close by. That you might need especially in the new update like pine cones and lint um the other drawbacks being you have to build up quite high to make a zipline tower and then even still it's a bit blocked by the tree but overall i would say this is a solid base location definitely a place worth building uh, especially to avoid those base raids the other issue with this place is the wasps can get up here and can raid you which is pretty difficult um the wasps in general are a pain, but we do have one location later on that will avoid the wasp raids every time because they can't get to you. The next location we have here is right here on the map, just by the pond near the pagoda. Now, this location isn't too far from our last one at the oak tree. Uh, ignore any builds you see nearby. This is basically where you would build the base. Why would you want to build here, though? 
So this location right here is really, really good for avoiding raids despite being on the ground. The reason for that is because all of the raids will spawn all the way over there, miles away. You'll barely have to worry about them. Now, there is a few wasps over there, and also a few wasps over there, and over there, and also over there. So there is quite a few wasp spawns nearby. But, you know, you can avoid them, so you don't need to worry about it too much, um, hopefully. Obviously, there is the field station nearby in the pagoda, which you could make a little bridge to, so that you can use that to analyse your items, claim your daily quests, and spend your raw science. You could also go back to Burgle, as it's not that far of a travel. The main issues with this base location is it's really low down in the ground. You're going to have to build a big bounce tower and some sort of ramp if you want to get to the upper yard as well. So this is a bit of a uh, low down hidden base, but it's a very good location to avoid raids. Um, the reason we're not building on the pond is because then you'll get raided by mosquitoes. So you want to stick to these rocks right here. The other massive advantage to this is it's a flat surface, which makes it really easy to build on. You don't have to worry about any hills or anything that you can't excavate in Grounded. You've got a nice flat rock to build on, which is an absolutely beautiful area. The only slight issue is there is haze over here. Once you've plugged the haze, you get a bit of infected over here. But it's not really a huge deal. It's not something you should have to worry about too much. The most expensive part of living here would be building a giant bounce tower so that you can make zip lines to get around the entire backyard. Overall, this is a pretty solid location. I probably prefer the oak tree to this one, but this one is still a very nice place to build, especially to avoid raids if you're not looking to build high up in the sky and you want to save on resources to not have to build out a ground layer too much as it already has a flat layer on the ground for you. For base location number three, we are up here in the upper yard on top of the composter. Now, obviously, the inside of the composter has recently been renovated. That's where all the new stuff is in 1.2. So you'll have easy access to that. You'll also notice there's a couple of green shield bugs up there. There's two that spawn up here by default, but you can kill both of them and they won't respawn. You don't have to build to stop them from respawning or anything. And then you have this giant platform all to yourself and as you can see you can build anywhere on the platform now the biggest advantage to living up here is again nothing on the ground can raid you because it can't get up here flying creatures will probably still be able to raid you though i haven't tested it to be honest i uh, can't see why they wouldn't though they just fly up here um your biggest problem is getting up here you can get up here by parkouring over there on the uh, ivy but i would recommend you build some sort of staircase to get up here if you're going to make it a base location as you don't want to do the parkour every single time the biggest advantage you have with living here is how high up you are i mean you could literally make a zip line from here to anywhere on the map pretty much you don't have to even build a bounce tower up the only issue you're going to have is if you want to go to the termite nest there's uh, there's no way to go around there the best you can get is to the picnic table from here so going to the termite nest, you'll either have to walk around or you can make a zip line down to the baseball bat maybe and then do some more walking. But this place is huge. You've got plenty of room. Uh, the only problem is getting stuff up and down. You will want a staircase. You'll have to run up and down every time to move uh, like planks and weed stems up and down. But it's a very, very large and flat base location. You don't have to worry about flattening anything out. It's already flattened for you. It is a beautiful place to live. And um, yeah, this is probably one of my favorites in the new update, just because uh, you've always been able to live here, but now you're right next to all of the new stuff, including the Queen Wasp location. You're very near the Mantis location as well, and you could easily zip line over to the Broodmother. If you're worried about sap in this base location, you can just come over here, and you, as you can see, you can place sap collectors on these branches, so you could always expand the base out a little bit over the ivy, and then you could build a bunch of sap collectors to collect sap. The reason this base is so good is the new chests cost pinecone pieces, lint, and sap. You can get the sap from collectors over here. You can get the pinecone pieces from just down over there and just around the base in general. There's a lot of pinecones. And you can get the lint rope from over on the doormat or inside of the undershed. You're very close to all of those locations, making it very easy to get all the resources you need for these brand new chests. The next base location, you're going to want to come over here near the Black Widow Cave in the upper yard, very close to the Moldock Castle. Now, you're going to want to drop into this location here, where there is two Black Ox Beetles. There is also usually a Milk Molar in here. Um, and what we're going to do 
is we're going to renovate this area. So the first thing you obviously need to do is get rid of these bozos. Perfect. Now that the black ox beetles are gone, you'll notice that we are in a cave here. There's two different ways out. Both require you to climb up the branches uh, in order to get out. But still pretty easy to escape this cave. Why would you want to live here, though? What a strange... Well, actually, no, there's only one way out. The other way is just a way in. You can't get out that way. But why would you want to live here? What makes this place so cool? And surely you're just going to get attacked by black ox beetles. Uh, no. The first thing you would need to do if you live here is you're going to need to put in some sort of floor. I'd probably recommend you use clay foundations. And essentially, you're just going to fill this thing in um with with clay foundations i'm not going to do the whole thing right now but with the new feature in the game actually you just do this and then you just do this and provided you had the resources you just build all of it at once easy peasy and uh, the game does indeed let you build inside of here which is very very nice so you can just build yourself a nice little workbench you can build everything you need but why, why would you want to live here? What makes this a good location, you know? Why is this good? So you'll notice we're surrounded on all sides by rocks. And the reason that's good is it means you can't get raided by anything. Whether it's ground or flying creatures, they shouldn't be able to get in here and raid you. Uh, the entrance, it just I don't think it's big enough for them to fit in, to be honest. Uh, I haven't tested this. But I'm like 99% sure they won't be able to get in there to raid you. It's not a big enough hole. In terms of other advantages to this base location, I'd recommend when you come out of your base, you have a little ramp up here to the top of these rocks. And you should be able to get easily to the hedge, which gives you good access to berries. You could build zip lines at pretty short distances here to cover the hedge and to get over there. But you might want some sort of zip line tower if you want to go up to the sky especially to get to places in the upper yard, as they're going to be a lot higher up than over here. You also have quick access to the Moldork Castle. If you're trying to farm for the Moth Gold card, you're trying to farm Tiger Mosquitoes, Water Fleas, uh, for any particular reason. Quick access to the Black Widow and the Web Sacks for more loot. Uh, there's loads of things nearby. You've got the Flowers and Burgle are relatively nearby. You could easily get a zip line to go between them, which wouldn't take that long, as they are very, very close. Um, overall, a very nice location, but this is one in particular for those who want to avoid getting raided by wasps. This is going to be a great place to live. The Black Ox Beetles won't respawn once you build down here, so you shouldn't have to worry about them. And it's a very, very nice area. It's big enough to build your storage room, but also uh, very, very good that all the walls are indestructible, so you don't have to worry about getting destroyed by enemy raids. For the last base location, I'm going to recommend the baseball. Now, this is one I've built bases on in the past. I haven't built one here recently, but it is a very, very good base location. Now, the first question you have is probably, well, why is the baseball a good base location? You know what I mean? Why, why would I want to live here? Well, the first thing that's important about living on the baseball is that it's indestructible. Just like a few of the other base locations we've covered already, the baseball cannot be destroyed. This thing is firmly rooted in the ground, which means that your base will always be safe. Second, the uh, ground raids cannot get up here. There's no way for them to climb up, which means they won't be able to attack your home. Your home will be perfectly safe up here. It can't be destroyed by ground raids. It can be attacked by flying creature raids like the wasps though, which is a bit of a risk, but it's a risk you'll have to run. This is very close to the spawn with the, the spawn point being right there and the mysterious machine being over there. You have a field station really close by, which you can use to spend your raw science and do anything else you need. You have the red ant nest nearby uh, to farm ant parts. You also have a lot of grass and weed stems as well as dry grass and the haze being very, very close by. This is a very central location on the map. Um, you will have to build a very large bounce tower if you want to go up to be able to get especially to the upper yard to cover most of the yard. This is a very uh, easygoing base location. This is somewhere you'd build if you were building like a starter base early on in the game and you were just wanting to chill and avoid as many enemies as possible. Then I'd highly recommend living here. In terms of the late game, it's not a great location to be just because um, there's not too much nearby that's unique. There's no like flower petals, acorns, pine cones, lint, uh, all the unique stuff which you want to farm. All this area really has is sap, 
grass, dry grass and weeds, which you can find on most places in the map. So this is a great spot if you're looking for an early game base. But in terms of a late game base, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like on it. Feel free to comment your base locations down below in the comments, and I'll take a look at some of them. And uh, maybe some of them will be really, really unique and cool. I especially like the ones like number four that we showcased, where it's contained somewhere that cannot be destroyed. As these are really cool with the, uh, to avoid the wasp raids as much as possible in this new update. I'll see you in the next Grounded video. Have a great rest of your day.